Hello, Tyler. Hello, Carlo. It's uh, been a little while. It's been uh, about how many months again? I said I guessed three. I'm touching the cord. Yeah, it's... don't touch the cord. Is it bothering you? It's like on my shoulder. It's like a little parrot. <laughs> Do you want just... to get rid of it? No, I like it. Okay. Our, our little setup, don't touch the stands either. Because like... You're right. All that sound comes through the mic. <laughs> You're right. Because I got rid of the compressor. Yeah. You okay, Tyler? I'm good. I seem a little on edge. Are you scared of something? Didn't you celebrate your girlfriend's birthday? Not yet. Well, when's her birthday? I thought it was like the 16th. It's literally the day before yours. The 18th? Yeah. I thought it was the 16th. No. Wow, I'm bad. How did you... Okay, I don't know how you managed to forget well, her I birthday. I didn't forget the birth month. I just forgot the birth day. month's pretty close. Okay, but the day is literally the day before yours. That's right. how I remember your birthdays, because your birthday is right after hers. But I was your friend before you even dated her, so why did right. you... So you forgot my birthday in the past? I'm, no, I've never... telling me? Okay, maybe a, a while back. What's my birthday, Carlo? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask me. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know my birthday? I don't know your birthday. That explains a lot. <laughs> I'm really bad with birthdays, <laughs> as you can tell. I only remember Twyla's because of, like, it was the same month, so it mm. took less brain process power. So I was like, maybe the 16th sounds right. Mine's pretty easy to remember. because Is it the, in it's January? January. 12th. No. 13th? No. Seven. Closer. Six. Closer. Four. Closer. Three. Closer. What? It's not January. It's first. not the first. What's between one and three, Carlo? <laughs> I skipped two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my birthday is January 2nd. <laughs> How did I skip two? <laughs> did I really skip two? You really skipped two. <laughs> See, mine's easy to remember because it's the day after New Year's. And New Year's is kind of one of the biggest holidays of the year. Because it birthday. it marks the, the beginning first. of the year. I don't know how I don't remember your birthday. Are you offended? Are no. You offended? No, I think it, it actually explains a lot. <laughs> Did you wait for my text? No. Like, well, I, I text you pretty much every of your birthday saying happy birthday. <laughs> and like I've gotten nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no i'm sorry no, i'm honestly not offended <laughs> like it's no big deal oh my God. i just think it's hilarious i feel bad i really do <laughs> like i'm crying right now i'm a horrible person I'm you're sorry. not a horrible I didn't mean person to. i didn't mean to you're like... not Car okay carlo <laughs> listen to me <laughs> I genuinely don't care. I know you don't care, but it's principle. <laughs> you send me happy birthdays. And whenever you send me those, uh -huh. I'm like, when is his birthday? Well, you could have just asked. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't want to because I know. Yeah, you, you know you, you should know, know it. That, yeah, exactly. That You should know that I know already. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help when it's January. It's okay. I barely remember my brother's birthday or my sister's birthday. Yeah, I know my brother and my sister. I just don't know my older brother one. Do you know your parents' birthdays? Uh, October 7th is my mom's and my dad's somewhere in February. I think it's like the 3rd. See, I don't remember. my. I know my mom's birthday's in December. My dad's is in August, I think. September? We could be like a whole month off. I'm like, <laughs> that's October. You know, yeah, it's August. <laughs> you have them flipped. You have my mom's birthday and I have yours. See, I, that's, here's the thing why that can't happen is because I've never known your mom's birthday. <laughs> I mean, you could have. <laughs> well, I think my mom is like December 28th or something. Okay, Carlo. Are you just moving the chair out of the way so you can see the... I want to make sure we're recording. <clears throat> is the camera gonna pick us up oh it's picking everything up but i'm just gonna put like our image of our cartoon characters <laughs> oh right so you're not gonna add the video and all that no i'm not gonna add that they don't need to see this but they don't need to see me crying over your my mistake okay you don't need to cry <laughs> i was crying <laughs> i'm not offended uh, i'm not like we've known each other for 13 years well okay so do you i think we i don't know if we ever talked about it on the podcast but do you remember how we met? Because I was, I was talking to them about this today. Like, how we met? Yeah, kind of. What, what, what's the story, Tyler? What's your story? And I'll tell you mine. 
Well, basically, my mom set us up. Okay. Because uh, I still, to this day, was too much of an introvert, right? And I refused to make friends or even try to make friends. Exactly. <laughs> so she's like, okay, who should you invite to your birthday party? And then, like, I think we hung out at, like, some kind of something once. And then she's like, oh, you should invite Carla to your birthday. I'm like, okay. And then we went ice skating. And then, like, then we, like, exchanged phone numbers. See... The only thing I remember, because I don't remember hanging out before. That's honestly do not. I don't either, but that's like kind of like the conclusion that I'm drawing because I'm like, how did, why did she invite just this random kid (laughs) to my party? Like, I have no idea who he is. Oh, phone call. Oh, who's calling you? Lila. Hello. And then whenever my mom told me that I was going to your birthday party, I was like, I bet. Cool. Sounds cool. And I was like, I'm trying to figure out who you are. And then your mom called me the day before we were going to go. Mm-hmm. And she called me and it said, Tyler Blair's mom. And I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't even have her under her name. I just had Tyler's Blair's mom. That's really why that's okay. That's really weird. So, okay. So here's the thing about my mom. She's a little bit of a control freak. So okay. <laughs> I wouldn't really she, say I that. Wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if like. She exchanged numbers with you before you exchanged numbers with that, with me. But I don't know. I just... Or it's possible that I didn't have a phone yet. No, you had a phone. Did I? Yeah. Because it's like, I think I had to text you or something like that. <laughs> Maybe. And you had the weird little... Whoosh, whoosh, yeah, the blue little one. Keyboard, the whoosh. Whoosh, keyboard one. Well, what baffles me is... Okay, so you, you don't remember re- what my first phone was, but you don't remember my birthday? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's more memorable. <laughs> like, yeah, gotcha. Than your birthday. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> but like... Do you know? Do you not see the weird thing is though? We both don't remember meeting the first time. We have recognition on like the when my your mom called my my mom and mm-hmm. we became friends during your birthday party at ice skating. But we don't remember anything back then. Supposedly you have some sort of memory. Was that was that when like? Okay, okay. Because I don't remember <laughs> meeting at any elementary school. We 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 met at Bos- we were going to Bosky Farms. I know, but I don't recall hanging out with you before then. No, I don't think we did. Like, because I was, was hanging out with... Who was I hanging out with? You were hanging out with Mario and someone else. You were hang- Was I friends with Mario first? I, yeah, you were friends with Mario, and I think there was a girl, the redhead girl. I think it was like Emily or something like that. That wasn't it. But yeah, I, know, I remember exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. I recall you hanging out with <laughs> them too, but... Like, I don't think I was even part of your friend group. I don't remember who I was hanging out with whenever I was at that You school. know what? This was in fifth grade, so I can't blame you. But the th- weird thing is, is we both don't have regulation before that birthday party, is what I'm saying. Do you yeah, not find that okay. strange? Do you remember when we went to Turkey Bingo? That sounds really familiar. We went to Turkey Bingo once, and like, I don't know if that's when we first m- no, maybe that's what happened. Maybe that's where we met. Turkey Bingo? Turkey Bingo. Do you remember what... Tur- do you know what Turkey Bingo is? Yeah, I just don't recall going to Turkey Bingo, and I thought I was already a friend of yours <laughs> at Turkey Bingo. No, right. I think I invited Because I thought you. that was after the birthday. Do you remember that Turkey Bingo, though? Yeah, I remember a turkey turkey bingo. I remember because it was in the like lunch hall area. Yeah, the cafeteria. Um, I won a chocolate bar. I won... I think we shared it. I don't remember that either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember anything, dude. It's really weird to think about, though. We've yeah, known each other is. since 2010. Nah. Yeah. 2010? Yeah, that sounds about right. But <laughs> or 2009. Just, but I just don't remember hanging out with you in the past. Only after the birthday. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I I don't I don't know for I don't know either. I think we like talked once. I think I don't know. We might have talked and once. And then your mom saw and us and she gave me her number somehow. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think, in retrospect, that's a really weird thing to do as an adult to give your phone number to a kid. Well, I, I might have already had your number. No- I just don't <laughs> remember your mom giving me her number or me giving her your my number. <laughs> I just don't remember any of that. It's just so strange. That is. Really I think I think we were brainwashed. 
something along the lines. Something happened. Like Someone that. took our memories. I think I bet you were but past then two babies. There was like, um, oh, that's the only explanation. <laughs> like, our lives started at that point. Yeah, I just yeah. It <coughs> but makes um, sense. I know there was a period of time where we just kind of talk, stopped talking for a little while, like during middle school. When that I, I don't remember. School. Like why we stopped talking. That's because we went to different schools. Oh, you okay. went to Soda, and then I went to Valencia. Then you went to Soda next, and after. then I decided to go yeah. to Soda because everybody was racist at Valencia. Yes, like against white people. That's fun. Yeah, political topic. That was that was like one reason, and then another was I was bullied, and then it was not a good school. No, it's well, it's like a huge public school. I like <laughs> public schools. Public You're right. schools aren't fun. You're right. Although nowadays, Soda is not much better. Soda is cracked in now. Love to see it when I drive by. <laughs> All the kids are like tweaking out in the front yard and they're on the grass and they're brand I can new. P- I can picture that for sure. Yeah, yeah it's great. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, we've, we've known each other for a really long time. Tyler, do you, do you like Hogwarts Legacy? Yes. I'm going to move off this topic. I'm okay. like bringing emotions, bro. No. Um, Hogwarts Legacy, did you enjoy it at all? Or no? I enjoyed it a lot i played it like almost religiously and part of that was because twyla really likes harry potter Mm -hmm. and she wanted to see how they did and like is she enjoying it she didn't play it herself she watched me play it okay but is she enjoying it she enjoyed it a lot yeah are you done with it yeah i beat it so i think i'm having the same problem that i had with skyrim Uh not to the point where i'm like oh my character looks funny all the characters look funny yeah but like i can't get past the tutorial area can't get past the tutorial. Not that it's hard. It's just, it just Long. feels like I'm reading those text-based story games, like the right. anime ones. It's yeah. just talking, talking, <laughs> talking, talking, and I'm just like, can we just get to the game? Okay. Yeah. No, I get it. Um, <laughs> it took like ten hours till I finally got a broomstick. So I don't. Ten hours? Like, it's well, that's probably that's an estimation, like an exaggeration, okay. but like it felt like it took forever for me to get to that certain that milestone and then like (laughs) but like the combat is like a lot of fun but it can get a little stale after a while Mm -hmm. but the thing that you really would have appreciated was the environment no no, the game looked pretty the game looked really pretty it is the most detailed and most like aesthetically pleasing game i've played in Mm -hmm. no i i don't disagree with that (laughs) at all it's just I don't know. I think it's not because I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I think that's what it is. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. Like I recently, (laughs) not recently, I think it was like three years ago when I finally finished watching all the movies Mm -hmm. after my girlfriend showed me all of them. And like, I still don't care for it. And I think that's what my problem is because I think it's just one giant fanfare. That's where it's like talking and talking and talking because it's like, oh, Professor Black. And everyone's going like, oh my God, that's Professor Black. Wow type of thing you know yes. what I'm saying? no I, I i get it like i'm the kind of person that was a fan of is a fan of harry potter more or less i've only watched the movies and read the first book but that's significantly more than you've been exposed to yeah. honestly well i yeah i only watched the movies <laughs> yeah yeah so but at the same time um my fiance he read all the books multiple times and she hasn't watched all the movies but she hasn't watched any of the movies? Do, she watched, like, half of them. And she then... should skip the one with the one woman that takes over the school. Oh, yeah. I'm I hated that. Episode. She's she's the worst character ever. That part of the <laughs> whole series, that movie, mm-hmm. was the most useless movie except for the last ten minutes of the movie. Because it didn't add anything to the... No, yeah. it did nothing. It was just like, I'm a different head household. da 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 Everyone's strict. And it's just like... Well, I mean... It Unless you're point. invested into like the politics of Hogwarts, then like it, you're right. It doesn't add a lot. No, it does not. But like a big part of it was like Hagrid's army is like he has an army. Well, no, but yes. Okay. He didn't make Hagrid's army. Harry Potter made, designed, or well, really banded together Hagrid's army. Hagrid. Hagrid's army? What am I talking about? What is Hagrid's army? I'm not very confused. <laughs> What's the headmaster's name? Dumbledore's army. Dumbledore's army. I'm dumb. <laughs> okay. I was like, what? Okay. Hagrid had an army? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Hagrid was secretly a warlord. That's what it sounded like. <laughs> no, like, I'm... 
My mouth isn't cooperating with my brain. Drink water. Dumbledore's hog army. <laughs> Keep going. Dumbledore's army um, was made by Harry Potter, not Dumbledore himself. So Dumbledore didn't really have any involvement at all. Didn't he die? Uh, yes, he did die. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, for a 14-plus-year-old movie. Is yeah. it 14? Um, when was the last one that came out? 2015, 17? I think it was around 2014. 2013. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Anyways, continue. But, like... I don't know. There was like a huge, a lot of political implications with it. But the politics are boring. The wizard well, battles yeah, are cool. If you're not into it. Yeah. Text message. But like Hogwarts Legacy is built on a lot of like lore that like fans would be able to recognize. Like for example, Professor Black or Headmaster Black, right? Yes. <laughs> he is um, Sirius Black's like grandfather or dad or something uh-huh great it must have been grandfather well that's what i thought because the game took like place in the 1800s like yeah okay and but like it's it's not really canon it's just that some of the references are part of the lore yeah well yeah there's Potter. a lot of references like it, like in the beginning whenever you go through the bank mm-hmm. like yo knew all about it and i was just but there was like references over references when you go to the bank. Really? Yeah. She was like pointing out things. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. I've, I, I didn't notice any like references in like Gringotts. Well, there's like a bunch of references, I guess, throughout the whole like Hogwarts place too. There. Yeah, of course. And then, well, okay. So I'm a little bit confused about this while we're talking about Harry, Harry Potter plot. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, there's like a statue, I guess, of Dumbledore when you first go towards Hogweed or whatever it's called. <laughs> Hogwarts? No, the, the, oh, the bank. The Hogsmeade. bank. Hogsmeade. The bank. What's the bank? Green Gods. Green Gods. And you know that giant statue? Isn't that supposed to be Dumbledore or something? I don't remember that. You don't remember the statue? <laughs> no, it's I don't like remember the statue. the statue and then the little crystal wall and then you open it and then... I remember the wall. I don't remember the statue. Oh, well, there's a statue. I thought it was like his secret <laughs> lair. That's what the whole thing was. It's possible. Okay. It's not some. It's something that I probably wouldn't recognize because, like I said, I've only read the first book, and like, but like it, like it probably wasn't mentioned in the movies or anything. Yeah, well, maybe I don't know. Maybe more of the books or something. So, Tyler, uh-huh. let's get off of Harry Potter. We've been on Harry Potter for. I don't have my watch today. <laughs> I know for sure I've watched movies just because there was an actor that I liked in them. You know, like which one? Like, for example. The Multiverse of Madness, right? Okay. I really like Benedict Cumberbatch. Or even, like... Who was he? He was... He's Doctor Strange. Yeah, I don't remember actor's name either. Yeah, he's Doctor He's Doctor Strange. Um, but he was also Sherlock in Sherlock Holmes. Yes, he was Sherlock. I knew that. Mm-hmm. And, I don't know, I, I really like him as an actor. Or, like, um, now after I watch The Witcher, I probably watch other things that Henry Cavill is in. Except for maybe Superman. He was Superman? He is Superman. He is Superman? Like, that is his role. (laughs) Superman. From when? Was this a new Superman? Yeah. He's been Superman for, like, years. (laughs) He's like Robert Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man. Am I thinking of the wrong Superman? Is it... Was he Batman versus Superman? Yes, that was him. That was him? That was him. The Witcher guy? The Witcher. He looks completely different. Well... Hollywood makeup. Well, yeah, Hollywood makeup, but he doesn't even... Watching... Okay, speaking of people not looking like themselves, I watched Beetlejuice yesterday. I did not know the main guy who died in that movie Mm -hmm. was Alec Baldwin. Boy, which movie? The the Beetlejuice. You mean Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice was Alec Baldwin. No, not Beetlejuice, but the guy who dies in Beetlejuice, like the two couple, the couple. Oh. The dude. That was him? That's him. And this guy you've worked with in real life, right? Yeah, I worked with Beetle. I worked with Beetle. I worked with Alec Baldwin. But like, the thing that confused me is how was that Alec Baldwin? It doesn't look like him. Okay, I mean, okay, like okay. at certain parts, it sounded like him. People age, you know that, right? Well, yeah, I know that, but he just Beetlejuice is like an old, old movie. He looks not the same. Well, I don't know what he looks like now, honestly. I don't. 
You're gonna have to give me like a roll. Is that that's not the Joker, is it? No. What? Alec Baldwin was the Joker? No, that's like. Huh? Yeah, he does not look like him. <laughs> he looks like um he would play some kind of CEO in a movie. Oh, well, that's his whole character in Baby Boss. Is he is a CEO of being a baby? Baby <laughs> Boss. You never heard of Baby Boss? That's what he's fa- famous mean, for now. Do you mean Boss Baby? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and there's a baby and a boss in it. I think the baby is the boss. Well, anyways, that's his character. That movie now. sucks. I've actually been watching clips on TikTok. Oh, that explains it. I was like, wow, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you should actually watch Boss Baby. Actually watch it. Is now that tell the name me, of it? Boss Baby? Yeah. Tell me if you think it's good. Okay, and, I'll watch it. Yeah, I'll watch it. Get back to me on it. It's it's I hate that movie with a Why so? You'll know. You'll understand. You'll understand. <laughs> Is when it you just watch a it. bunch of poops and fart jokes? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, absolutely. the scenes I've been watching on TikTok are like really heartfelt, and it's like a da- I guess a dad turns into a baby. No, it turns into a younger self of him, self, and then like he goes to his family, and he I don't know what the point you need is because it's on TikTok. I I do need context, <laughs> but every time I watch it, I'm like, wow. <laughs> No, no, the this movie, is really heartfelt. The movie is awful. <laughs> it, it's like right there with like Trolls and like um, the Emoji movie. I can see Trolls. It's bad. Trolls is not good. I've never watched it. It got popular movie. for no apparent reason too. Like it's big. It's still big. They're making another Trolls movie. Can we not have background noise? Are they really making another Trolls movie? Yeah. I... I didn't even watch the first one so I'm not even going to bother with the second they one. They made it I think the third one I think there's like four of them. No, there's three of them. One was like World Tour. Like Guitar oh, yeah. Hero. Yeah, no, I remember that trailer. I like I haven't invested <laughs> Are you trying to fix my shoulder? I'm cable? trying to put it more on your shoulder. <laughs> oh, more on my shoulder. You <laughs> actually made it better. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was trying to fish it on there. Okay. So moving from the topic of movies. So recently I put a timer on YouTube. What do you mean by that? So, like, on my phone, I, there's this option where, like, I can limit the amount of time that oh, I spend. Oh, like, screen screen use timers or something like that? Yes. I, it... I've literally did that today. Uh-huh. And I'm interested to see how it goes. Like, you've never seen your time before? <laughs> well, no. What I'm saying is that, like, I gave myself only, like, an hour a day to be on YouTube. And then the app shuts off. And, like, I can't access it anymore. Until afterwards. when? Until the next day. So why, why are you doing that? Because I noticed that I spend a lot of time on YouTube. Telling me to get off t- TikTok so I can stop watching Boss Baby. Absolutely, <laughs> I am. <laughs> Absolutely, I-, I am. And the YouTube... Sh- I don't... I hate TikTok, so I, have not, I haven't downloaded it. But I got sucked into the YouTube shorts trap, which is essentially the same thing. Yeah. And, and I'm like sitting there scrolling through it. And I'm like, I'm wasting a lot of my life away on this dumb app. And like, now that I only have an hour a day on YouTube, I can like make it so that I use my time on YouTube wisely and actually watch things that I want to watch. Oh, I found the the setting. App limiters? Yeah, app, app limiters. limits. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I'd see, I... Five, five hours. hours. See? There you go. Five hours. It's downtime. Let's see what my top app was. <laughs> Wait, okay. You really spend five hours a day on YouTube? No, my top app right now is Spotify. Oh, on TikTok. You spend five hours a day on TikTok. Yesterday... <laughs> 14 hours on YouTube. <laughs> hey, so I think you should do the same. I think I should do that. Okay, but like, okay let me but tell I you. I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, here's the thing. I will start, like, reading now, and I will start writing more music, and I will start, like, writing my own book, which is what I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And then, like... That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, so I'll, I'll ha- what I'm saying is that now that I only have an hour a day on YouTube... I will spend my time doing things that I actually enjoy rather than like mindlessly scrolling through. But how long are you going to do that for? I, are you really going to like do that for the rest of your life? You're like, oh, I only have an hour on my phone. Well, I think it depends. Because like, I feel like at a certain point you're going to be sitting there and you're going to be like, well, I want more hours. Okay. There are times where like, <laughs> I will be like, um, I would want to show somebody a video or something, and then, mm-hmm. like, it gives you the option to, like, ignore timer. Oh, okay. I thought it just, like, locked you out completely until 
and you can't change the setting until the next day when you can access the app again. No, that would be a little too intense for Apple. But <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm thinking like if I only give myself an hour a day on YouTube, then I'll I'll just be so much happier. And like I ended up getting into this rut where like a lot of my shorts on YouTube were political. And like, I, I, and I get so angry. I'm like, ah, I noticed that. Away. I noticed that. Like, I get like right wing political videos, and then I get left wing political videos, and I'm yes. just like, I'm watching Boss Baby clips. Why are these <laughs> showing up? Yes, exactly. I get sucked into like the, um, like the the people who comment on like trans transgenderism. I got a, a bunch lot. of those, and I don't I don't know why. I don't know why. See, I don't care. I just. I want to watch something else. I want to watch something dumb that makes me feel good, you know? Not something that makes me question my political decisions. I want a good freaking dopamine hit, not yeah. depression, please. Exactly. And so that's that's when I get sucked into the YouTube shorts and I get angry at myself and the people making these videos because genuinely, honestly, I really don't care about what they have to say. I, I agree with that tenfold. And I think I need to do that because at certain times, do you get sick? Do you feel sick after a certain amount of time you've been watching your phone or watching a screen? <coughs> Sometimes I do, yeah. Like, do you feel, like, nauseated? Well, I, I get less nauseated and more, like, anxious, you know? Like, after I get off, I start to feel like, yeah, like I've done nothing all day. And then I feel like, like I need my, my YouTube fix, you know? <laughs> so, do you, so, like, is this right after work? Uh, yes, after work, I like to get on to like uh, decompress or like. Well, how long? Okay, so when do you get home from work? I get home about three forty-five, which 3 is actually when I get off of work because I live like yeah two just... minutes away from where I work, right? Mm -hmm. So I, well, depending on the day, because I also give lessons on Mondays and Fridays after work. So, <coughs> but I also watch a lot of YouTube in the morning. Okay, and so. like whenever you're hanging out with Twyla or whatever. Yeah. Um. You guys don't do anything? You're just separate, separate worlds? Well, we do that sometimes, but, like, other times we watch a lot of TV, like, on Netflix. We spend... Because we do this... We have kind of a ritual where, like, that's our... <laughs> oh, okay, now we're not Satan. Just relax. <laughs> but, like... You changed her. <laughs> but, no, so, like, at the end of the day, we kind of, like... We watch a show to, like, mark the end of the day. That is okay. when we sit down... And we relax, and we don't worry about anything for as long as we want, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel that. I feel that. Like, so, now that I'm not working at the moment, like, I've been off this whole month. Yeah. I've noticed that I don't do as much things with mm -hmm. Yo whenever I'm here. Yeah. I'm, like, like literally this whole entire week, I've been trying to work on the computer. Because yeah. I was like, I need to get it ready for whenever we record. I want it to sound at least the best that I can do within this time. But, like, whenever she comes home from work, she watches her anime, and I'm still in. Yeah, see, like, well, I, well, I at least make an effort to talk to my fiancé, but... I talk, <laughs> I say, hello, how was work? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, um, yes, and it, it upsets me over the fact that I'm, like, constantly working, and, like, I don't do anything with her, and, like, mm -hmm. because it's just go to work, come home, and I'm too exhausted to do anything else. I think that's what the thing is, is, like, when she comes home, she's exhausted. And mm -hmm. I feel like we should do something, because I've been home all day. Yeah. Doing nothing. But it's, like, what can you do? It's already the end of the day. Everything's going to be closing. Exactly. And then, like, you're exhausted, and she's exhausted, and I don't know what Twyla's doing, but she might be exhausted. Mm -hmm. So it's just, like, and then it's, like... You've been with people all day. And you don't want to... Yeah, it's like... It's not necessarily a, re like a reflectant... A reflection of your relationship. It's just... You don't want to talk to people because you're just... You've pulled out. been doing that all day. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, we, we get the same way. So that's why we like to... um, Just sit down during dinner and watch TV. What show mm -hmm. have you guys been watching? Lately, we've been, we've been watching You. Why are you... You? Like, is what it's called. Is that a, like a real... Like a comedy? No, it's not a comedy. It's really twisted. Okay. It's it's like Dexter, but... Because I think my sister watched worse. that. I think she showed me a clip <laughs> or something like that. It is, I think I heard of it. It is very inappropriate, but it is like... It's heavy. It's it's a heavy show. Well, if you like inappropriate stuff, watch Beef. Beef? Joe and I started watching Beef. We only watched like two episodes, but mm -hmm. like... It's about this Korean guy. And um, it's the guy from The Walking Dead. Which uh, one? Glenn? 
Glenn, the Asian, Asian guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so it has him in it, <laughs> and then this one Asian girl, well, Korean, but like, they they run into each other. He Korea almost is back. An Asian. Korea is an Asian. Guy. Well, I don't. I in the show they got offended when a girl was like talking about Asian people, and she's like rolling her eyes, a Korean girl. Well, so I don't know. Okay, what, I'm not trying I'm, to be racist here, but I just. All of it confuses if, me. If you know basic geography, then you'll know. But she rolled her eyes when they were saying like something about Asia. Well, and she, they were like, hello, how are you? And she's like... <laughs> Asia is a continent. Well, yeah. Korea I know is a country in Asia. Maybe I got this scene mixed up. But she it's got offended bad. by something. And now I get like <laughs> self-conscious when yeah, no, I talk about that side no, of the I, world. I, I, I get it completely. Because I'm like, they all cut. Kind of, everyone looks the same to me. Yeah. I mean, everyone. Everyone, even like white people. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't tell the difference between your sister and your brother. It, sometimes. Sometimes your mom and your dad just <laughs> blend together. <laughs> I'm like, mom, wait, I thought you were just in there. <laughs> yeah. But like, okay, what was I going to say? It's really inappropriate, but it's great. Mm. Like, in one scene, he pisses on the floor for real. Yes. That's like, it's funny. So, it's in, in you, there's this one scene where he pisses in a jar. Did you drink it? No, he didn't drink it. He just kind of set it on a shelf. Was it like a revenge type thing? <laughs> no. Well, okay. <laughs> he was just bored. <laughs> yeah, he was bored. Well, no. Okay. So the the premise behind the show is that he's like a stalker. And he like... And as somebody who's like fascinated with human behavior, right? I have mm. a bachelor's in psychology. I find this show really fascinating and insightful. Is that the whole premise of it though? Yeah. He's a stalker and he's like... A murderer and like he's the main character and everybody in the show is an asshole like you hate everybody and that's kind of the point okay you know is it supposed to represent you uh, no like is it like like one of those type of shows where it's like at the end of that <laughs> season it's like they all look at you and they're like this has been you the whole time no, like it's, it's like it's trying not, to do a self-reflection type thing it's not one of those it's one of those things where like it's through the perspective of somebody who is like one second but yeah, yes. the show's like through the perspective of somebody who is antisocial and psychotic, right? right? And who's a complete stalker and a murderer. I don't know. It's it's really fascinating. It's a lot like Dexter. Dexter's pretty good. I enjoyed Dexter. Yeah. That that show we we made it through like one season, I think. Don't they have like four seasons? Yeah. I know you does. Has it gone that long? It sounds brand new. Yeah. It it's been it's been on for like there's is I think Netflix? the last season is coming out soon. It's Netflix, right? <laughs> yes, it's Netflix. Um, but yeah, like the reason it's called you is because he tends to fixate on this one individual, mm -hmm. and it's like it, that's it the love interest for the season, and like he's like stealing her panties and like like watching her through windows and like is he trying to kill her? No, he's trying to make it so that she'll fall in love with she'll him. fall in love with him by by stealing her panties. Well, no, that part actually was his downfall. But um, he'll like kill the people that are hurting her in life, or he'll oh, <laughs> like okay. it's 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 fascinating. It's, a, it's, it's really it's, obsessive. It's like it's it's that reminds me of another show I watched way back then mm -hmm. uh, i see okay that's kind of cool i don't know that might be too much for me at the moment maybe i like yeah it's it's a real like i said it's heavy it's really heavy i try to watch um euphoria that was wrong but it might be it the one with the uh, what's her name the spider woman oh with uh Spider -Man. zendaya zendaya yeah that one i try to watch that i think what upset me because <laughs> i understand it's like her going through drugs and stuff like that mm -hmm. but i guess throughout the whole series it's her recovering to me, I don't know. It's just anything with over drug use upsets me. No, yeah, that's fair. Like, I I kind of... I understand that. I've never been... Okay, I'm not a big fan of drugs, just in general. Once... I don't I don't advocate for drugs, like, at all. So, so, you're, so I kind of react the same way. I understand, yeah. like... I don't know. Like, I heard it gets good and stuff like that. But I think it was, like, over mainstream for me. And, like, it's it's... I don't know. It was just too much. It was just too much for one. Like, I, I think I watched like two episodes and like, I'm not saying like you's going to be too much for me, but at the same time, I'm like not in the mood to watch something that heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes like I'll get in the mood to like watch something lighter and I'll, and I'll go back to like 
Avatar The Last Airbender. I've watched that oh, show yeah. like five times, six times, maybe that's more. <laughs> and like... I think I have the box set. It's in the living room. Yeah, that's, honestly, that's my favorite show of all time. Right? Oh, yeah, it's amazing. So I, I, me and Twyla go back to it like once a year and then... Just binge it all? Yeah. Or we'll go back and watch New Girl. There's like a sitcom. I think Yo watches that. Isn't she like in an apartment with two dudes or something like that? It's like three dudes. Yeah. Three dudes. My dogs are on some today. We'll watch New Girl and uh, like I've been wanting to watch Brooklyn Nine Nine again. Is that a co- reality show? It's not. It's a comedy. It's. I think it's like it's. Some. I think you'd like it. Honestly, it's hilarious. Nine Nine. It sounds like a <laughs> hospital cop thing. It's got uh, Terry Crews, Andy Samberg, and. Um, that one lady who played the main character in Encanto. You didn't watch Encanto, did you? No, I didn't like Encanto. Really? I did not like Encanto at all. <laughs> I didn't think it was that good. I think the last like Disney Pixar production I ever watched was um crap. I don't remember. Um and it was really good. <laughs> I have to see it. I don't know. I'll I'll tell you guys later. I don't know. The, like I feel like if we were more popular, you would have like a an angry mob at your door <laughs> saying that. We're not liking Encanto? <laughs> yeah. Is it that good? Well, like I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Pixar animations. Well, okay, but I just I, I don't know. It just felt too cliche for me. Oh, uh The Strange World. That one. That one's really good. Really? Yeah. Very good. Is it on Disney? It's on... Oh, it, it should be on Disney. It should be on Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, she's like, row, row, row. Okay, 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 okay. But no, okay, it's wait. really good. Bear is what gender? Male. Bear is a male. He lost his balls. You want to look? Right. <laughs> I can never remember because Pomeranians always look the female. Same. You know? They all look the same. They're all anyway. Creatures. But yeah, I think... I've, I've watched the trailer. It looks... It looks generic. From the trailer. Strange World? Yeah. It's really good. I recommend it. It yeah. is not what you think it is. It's very right. good. All right. It's better than Encanto. Hands down. I'm gonna have, I find that hard to believe. Do you like the new Pepsi logo? They have a new Pepsi logo? It, it's like retro modern. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta look it up. Real quick. Look it up. It's all, today's like a look up episode. Yeah. New Pe- Pepsi. Pepsi logo. Pepsi logo. If you hear wrangling this one? dinglings. With yeah, that one? one right there. What's I like thoughts? it, actually. Nice. Yeah. I actually, watched uh, mm. Food Theory on it, and it's supposed to appeal to Gen X or whatever the new generation is. Generation Y. Gen Z. Gen, Gen Z. X is the old one. Oh, yeah. Gen Z. You have Gen, Gen X, Boomers, Gen Z. And I'm somewhere between... Th- oh, millennial, well, Gen Z. I'm getting, somewhere between millennial and Gen Z. Yeah, I don't know what I am, because some... Things say Gen Z and others say Millennial, and I think it's like because it's like cut off is 1999, but some say 1998. Yes, yes, and I was born on 2000, and by definition, Millennial is like every thousand years. Yes, and I'm like, why is Millennial 1998 or 1999 when like 2000 is the beginning of a new, a, new, a new thousand years. So are you saying that you should be Gen <laughs> X? Not Gen X. Um, millennial. Millennial. You're a millennial. I should be millennial. Okay. I think by de- by the definition of a millennial. Then I'm a millennial. Like the word. If you're a millennial, I'm a millennial. I think you're a millennial. Okay. Because so. there's no way that we're born a year apart and we're a part of two different generations. I, I, that's what confuses me too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so then if... Would Yo be... Millennial? When was she born? 2001? 2000? 2000. Yeah, she's a millennial then. She should be a millennial. Yeah. We're all millennials then. Well, not everyone. It's weird to think that... I don't, it's just... There's kids out there born in 2013, 2014. I, I just... It's so baffling. You know, <laughs> it is a weird... And I felt the same way before I started this job. But they're like... We have six-year-olds that are born in 2016 yeah it's just like what yeah exactly so it's just it's it's strange are you gonna be the type of person that's gonna go like well back in my day <laughs> absolutely we, we had it like the phones go like this i am I, absolutely that type of person are you gonna are you gonna get upset so the other question <laughs> i was gonna ask about this generation thing mm-hmm. was 
we have our classic music, you know, like of um, My Chemical Romance, mm-hmm. um, you know, Blink-182 and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What is our kids' kids going to be their classic music? WAP. So the... <laughs> Because, like, I feel like if we had kids, if we have kids now, I think our generation would, no, their generation would think our music would be, like, the classic rock for ours. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Well, like, okay. ACDC and stuff like that. Are you talking about, like, if we were to have grandkids? Well, I'm talking about our kids right now. But what their grandkids, I think, are going to think their music, <laughs> it's confusing. But our kids... Are gonna think what our music is like? My Chemical Romance is mm-hmm. like that. The music we grew up as like kid kids. Yeah, is gonna think about it as classic rock. Like how that's, we think of classic rock. That's a good like. Okay, what would that make to that generation? Like ACDC or Led Zeppelin or like um, Iron Maiden or like all those like metal bands from the eighties. How would they picture th- or define them? I think they'll just be classified as classic rock, but it's gonna be like. Like, or would it end up lumping like '90s to 2010, like era of music in with their classic rock? Well, I think it's gonna go towards like they're gonna think our parents were the oldies because mm-hmm. I feel like '50s music and stuff like that will still be relevant, but our their fi- our '50s music is gonna be their like '80s music. Their our '80s is gonna be their '50s. Do you I'm know saying. what I'm noticing though? What is that? It's all come full circle. Now we're starting to listen to 50s music and 60s music again. Mm-hmm. Like, for example, do you know the band The Mamas and the Papas? Yes. Yes. People are starting to listen to them again. Well, it's because of the, the last alive member is like 78 years old. <laughs> and like, I see them on YouTube shorts and their music is awesome, honestly. Mm-hmm. But like... I think what's going to happen is in like a good 30, 40 years, we're going to take like these bands from the 2000s and like the 90s, <laughs> like My Comic Romance or like Avenged Sevenfold. These are the bands that I'd like to listen to. And, and then we're going to start listening to them again. And they're starting to, they're going to start being popular again. Well, it's like, I'm going to bring it back to Game Theorist guy, but he did it for Pepsi. <laughs> and that's why Pepsi made their logo like that. Because of today's generation loves um... that style. That's why vinyls are a big <laughs> thing in. That's why, like, 50s and 40s swing music is getting big again. That totally makes sense. Yeah, because... And his thing is, his theory is, is kids these days don't have memorable, like, like wars and stuff like that. Like, we did... Not us, but, like, mm. our parents <laughs> did in the past. And, like, we, we grew up when the Twin Towers and stuff like that. They're so used to quick content where they can't make it, like, memorable for their generation. So mm-hmm. they're... T- they're adopting the past. I think that's, I think that's a good theory. Although we do have like historical events that we've lived through. Oh well, yeah, us. <laughs> but he's talking about the new generation, Generation W or whatever they're called. Generation W is that like well, after Gen Z? I think so. Yeah. There's no way that there's a new generation. After there's gonna Gen be a Z. new generation. Yeah. No way. The generations should just stop at Gen Z. Well, you have to continue it. New I'm just gonna generate. We're just gonna go all the way down the alphabet, we're, we're, or we're backwards. I don't know. We had Generation X. <laughs> oh right, Generation Generation X came before Generation Z. Oh, it's Alpha. We, it's Alpha. The generation new Generation alpha. alpha. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Those are kids born supposedly from the internet, 2010s, till now. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. 2010 to 2025 <laughs> is Generation Alpha. And that's what he's getting at is those kids from Generation Alpha and stuff like that are adopting the older generation because they don't have historical moments, quote unquote. We do. That's we- what it is. Okay, that's why I like the Pepsi logo so much. The new <laughs> one I don't, <laughs> is because it feeds into my nostalgia. Exactly. Even that's though I wasn't is. like born back in like when they had um, diners. You know? Yeah. No, but where like, it was like more relevant at <laughs> diners and stuff. But like it it, it like it feeds my my nostalgia as it would feed like older generations nostalgia. And then younger generations would favor it because of Matt Pat's theory, right? Yeah. Well not just because of him, but yeah. you know 
Well, not know. because of him, but like. Yeah, exactly. You know, that reasoning. I don't know. I, I, I find it all strange, but they, we do have historical event due to like the political change and stuff like that. And like COVID and the ec- COVID, econ- yeah. economy. But it's going so quick where <laughs> I think that's where they're adopting the vinyls and stuff like that because they don't have anything cool. Literally, our generation, I understand Generation X was like the generation of internet, the mm-hmm. generation of technologies. But I feel like we have it the best. We grew up when phones were big and usable and stuff like that. But we're getting to the point where we have robots now. We were alive when the first touchscreen came out. Yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. Like in today's world <laughs> for these gen alpha or whatever. Yeah. They grew up with the iPad already. They already grew up with the touchscreens. They already grew up with the Oculus and stuff like that. So they don't have anything at this moment as technical like advantage advantage Advan- adv- I can't speak English, but you know what I'm saying. Advances. Yeah. Yeah, I see Where we mean. grew up, each, <laughs> each day we had a phone that was fucking with an antenna. Mm-hmm. And like only two years down the road, now we have touchscreens. Yeah. Like they don't have that. Every day is a touchscreen. Yeah, the touchscreen is just normal. To yeah, them. exactly. Like- and they don't have anything changed yet. In 2010 and onwards, it's always been the same thing. Nothing's new. Have you noticed that? Like, nothing's new. Yes. I think that's a good... Yeah, I, I think so, too. Like, everything is, like... <laughs> Since nothing is new, what they're doing is they're t- they're looking at the old things as new things. Exactly. Yeah. Because they never grew up with CDs. Think about that. They don't have CDs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like, they're, I don't know. I think they're just trying to adopt the old. They've never had CD. That's so weird to yeah, me. Yeah, they never had CDs. They know they don't know what a no CD CDs, player is. No DVD players. No. They don't. They never had the Nickelodeon little one track, <laughs> the itty bitty CDs. You know, oh, remember those, those? Yeah. They never had any of those. They just always had it on the phone. They had huh. everything. That's really fascinating. And that's why. And then they, and they also said like those kids today, the ones that grew up with the internet in the palm of their hand, mm. are the m- smarter than what we are. They're Totally smarter than that. So there is something in psychology known as the, the ratchet effect. Uh-huh. And that's when um, subsequent generations, like generations after ours, afterwards, right? Yeah. Tend to be more intelligent. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that can apply. And that is true to an extent. But I also look at Gen Z. They're the dumbest generation I've ever heard. <laughs> to, uh, to our eyes, they are. Like, I mean, I don't think I've ever, like, looked at a Baby Boomer or Gen X and be like, wow, that was so... Well, that's not true. There are, like, dumb wars that I think... Oh, yeah, pointless wars. Yeah, pointless. most wars are pointless. But, yeah. like, at least they're not, like, eating Tide Pods. Okay, you can't say <laughs> that. You can't say that. The like back then, all these people were there like, well, back in my day, why would we eat Tide Pods? Well, they like they smoked cigarettes at eight years old. Oh, that's true. Like they done hardcore drugs when they were like 12. Like they were the generation of fucking like L- LSD and stuff like that. Taking psychic gel and psychic whatever the fuck it's Psychedelic called. Psychedelic drugs. Yeah. yeah. No, they I'm were doing hardcore that. shit. They were doing harder than us eating Tide Pods. Okay. But okay. Here's the thing. At least you get high from that. You know, there's, well, there is that. some kind of benefit that they, they get, which isn't good. But, like, they, they get a euphoric feeling from it rather than just eating Tide Pods and hoping not to die. But you also have to think, that generation, the 80s and stuff like that, they never had a whole lot of documentation. So there must have been stupid shit going on, but they don't want to say everything's documented within our lives everything's on the internet when i take a shit everyone knows i took a shit everyone knows i that i ate a type pod everyone knows this everyone knows that they must have done stupid shit yeah 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 i I saw this thing where like i said stupid people always existed but now they're taking videos yeah it's more prominent it's more it's documented that's the only thing and they're like well the type pod challenge is going to be in your history books it's like (laughs) well your shit might have been in the history books if you was getting documented. Okay, but also at the same time, these documentation, cap- 
the the ability to document things like make trend setting trends easier. Mm -hmm. oh, so yeah. like this like an eight year old sees like a tie pot challenge and they're like, oh that's cool. I'm gonna try that myself. Mm -hmm. So the stupidity doesn't end with that one stupid person and it no. spreads to other people who yeah, are like, like who are you know, sheep, you know? Mm. Well everyone's a sheep. Every well everybody's a sheep, but like some people conform so hard that they're willing to do things, yeah. do things that will potentially kill them. Mm -hmm. Well, there's right? a, it's like a resurgent. I've, I recently saw it on YouTube where people are eating this gum, mm -hmm. and it's like hotter than pepper spray. Like that police, oh yeah, times like three thousand. That's how hot it is. Like people getting hospitalized do it. But this was a trend in 2013. <laughs> they're just bringing it back. They're bringing it back. Yeah. Kids are eating. Them. Have they not learned? Oh. Well, that's the point. They don't learn. Yeah, and that's where the stupidity is. Yeah, and they're getting bored. I feel like that's why they're starting a new trend. No one's dying yet, Tyler. We need to start killing people more. No, <laughs> you know what? I agree. The, yeah. You know, there are too many people on the planet, and that's what they're bringing back the hot gum. They're like, we need people. Maybe to get they offed. are smarter. They're just yeah. trying to figure out how to population control. <laughs> Never mind, I take it back everything I said. <laughs> they started COVID. They're like, government, that's not going to work. We need hot gum. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> this is how you can clear a whole population of idiots. <laughs> Precisely. How long have we been recording? We've been recording for an hour and four seconds. Okay, should we stop there? You want to stop there? Can we, I, well, we have other things to record. Can I address the elephant in the room? 95 subs. 95 subs. Four subs off of just one video. Wow. And that was this, the Super Smash Bros. one where Mario's going, Wah! <laughs> How many views did that get? They got right at this moment 82. That's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. But I noticed that with all our videos, it goes like 39. And the other one, other Harry Potter one, was 104. <laughs> it, the first one is now up to 180 views. Well, there you go. I rest my case. Why is it always the first episode that's like the highest and then the second one's like, nah. You know what? I think it's your thumbnail skills. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Honestly, that's all you did was like crop a photo. And then <laughs> that's <it>. exactly <laughs> what I did. I was but, like, that's uh, funny. And, yeah, no, it's a great picture of him, of Daniel Radcliffe. But. <laughs> yeah, 183 for the first Lego Harry Potter. But also what I noticed is I put Super Mario movie on the first Super Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. And then I put Hogwarts Legacy for the first Lego. Right. I think I clickbaited people. You, maybe you did. Yeah, and it worked. Kind of sleazy. Ha 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 ha. Well, <laughs> if, if, even if they know it was a clickbait, like, they still subscribed. Very. Very. So, like, five more subs and we might do something special. Speaking of that, subscribe yeah. to our <laughs> shit show of a uh, YouTube channel. Yeah. We love every... We've been here for, like, what, two years? Two years now. And we got... 95 loyal, <laughs> loyal participants. Honestly, yeah, we, like, I don't, the when appreciation hit, is real. When we hit our first thousand subs, we're taking Mr. Beast. <laughs> we're taking, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're going to your throat, Mr. Beast. Um, <coughs> well, and you want to say any Watch him words? actually hear that. He'll, he's crazy enough to do something about he's it. He's the 95th subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, this, never mind, subscribe. It. I'm going to track down this guy's house and murder him but i'm gonna make it a content i'm gonna make him lose his eyesight <laughs> <laughs> well like while well, he, he's not so he'll probably like pay us money somehow i for kidnapped some your family <laughs> that's how mr beast works he's insane the guy's great but he's insane yes well he has to do something good but in an in, in, in intense way yeah exactly well tyler yeah. you want to press the the little button to end the recording with which one the one with the little eye that one right there oh, my yeah, okay. do well, it let me Wait. do it. Why me do it? End the episode, Tyler. All right. Bye. Bye. -bye.